Hey everyone, Josh from Goober Mods here uh, with the Sega Neptune I've been working on. Um, making some good progress, as you can see, it actually fits inside the Sega Genesis housing now. Um, last video, some of you may recall, I pointed out how all this wiring was too short and it inhibited this, all of this from fitting within this case. Um, so now that's taken care of. I've extended all the wire and got all back together and running smoothly. Um, on top of that, see this green wire here, which takes the video out from the Genesis to the video in of the Sega 32X, uh, which gets rid of the need for this extra cable here called the double DIN or DIN cable which was one of the things that made the 32X uh, sometimes difficult. Um, so really what's left here before we have a fully functioning Neptune is to wire the AC input from the 32X, which is right here to that on the Genesis, because right now I still need two power supplies. And for that, all I really need to do is see these three contact points there. There's identical points on the contacts for the AC adapter input for the Genesis, and I just bridge that connection with some heavy gauge wire, something around 1820 AWG. Um, so yeah, right now, as you may have noticed, I have the flaps off of the cartridge slot. Um, I actually have to shave this piece down a little so everything will fit together, and this is what the flaps are on. Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to get rid of these little tabs here because I'm going to be doing a region mod and these prevent Japanese games and some European games from fitting within the US Sega Genesis so we want to be able to play Mega Drive games as well <clears throat> and I will be you notice this curve here some games from other regions are more square shaped so I'll be making this more square shaped using a Dremel and I'll be replacing this front flap with the back flap from another Sega Genesis case that I have laying around. It doesn't even have a uh, system board in it or anything. So give me a second and I will get all this hooked up and show you how it works. Alright, so as you can see I still have the uh, case opened up to get this all running. Because right now I don't have everything exactly where it should be for it to run closed cased. Eventually this uh, DIN output will be glued upside down here, so it'll be easily accessible. Um, interestingly enough, um, I'm pretty sure, and we'll, we're about to find out, that with this connection here between the 32X and the Genesis, enough power will be carried over from the Genesis that a regular Genesis game should be able to work with only the one power adapter. So let's this on really quickly and all right so there we have a Genesis game and that's actually already working with just the one power adapter so let's go ahead and try a 32x game all right, so now we have 32x game in with uh, only one power adapter uh, turn it on really fast and we get the you know, copyright screen and then it's just black. So let's turn this off and find our adapter here in this mess. Alright, so this goes here. so I can plug this in. Uh, still need that tripod. All 
All right, so 32x games still need two power supplies, but that's going to be the next thing that I tackle here. Um, so yeah, that about wraps it up for right now. Um, again, I'm really happy with the progress I've been making. Um, it's going a lot faster than I predicted, and I'm thinking this whole thing should be done within a week, week and a half. Um, so I'll keep you all posted. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check out our website, www.goobermods.com. Follow us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash goobermods. Thanks.